Hello and welcome to Channel Under the Mask. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel and um, basically I'm here to uh, show you how to um, research these uh, photographs for yourself. I'm not going to be showing you um, research in action which I do highly recommend watching because um, if you're new to this um, you will need time to get used to what I'm doing and what I'm pointing out. Not all um, places I look at are as easy to see as other ones. Some are, some aren't. I hope you'll get on um, with this one. Um, yeah, we are looking at um, Tethys, which is, I hope I've said that right, but um, it is a, hold on, my microphone's right in the way here. Okay, um, let's have a look, sorry. I should prepare myself a little bit better. Um, okay, it's a uh, Saturn moon. And we will be looking at this image from the NASA Photo Journal site. Um, and like I say with all the videos, um, pause um, and just take the image in and obviously pause and have a read. Uh, it's nice to know a little bit of uh, information about it. Um, this is a pretty small moon um, in relation to everything we've been looking at. Um, 660 miles. Um, diameter I presume and um, here is some other little bits and bobs um, this is um, about the geology so have a read if you're on a phone you uh, might struggle with this um, I do recommend uh, watching these videos on the largest screen possible um, so, and again, it's uh, Cassini Hugens. So, this is the image in question, and this is the raw image. So, immediately, uh, I'll just show you where it pixelates. It's not bad at all. Um, so, for those of you who are new, um, what I'm initially looking for is uh, Things that just don't look right and don't, um, you know, don't fit into the geology of the described moon. So um, we uh, forgot what I was saying then, but hey, um, in this area especially, which I'll be showing you in a minute, um, what we would call an infrastructure a structural layout is apparent it is to me but this is something you will uh, you'll get used to um, just through practice and repetition etc etc so um, it's it's quite odd we've looked at um, the makeup of these images and how they use um, you know, horizontal or vertical lines or um, various patternage to patterns, shall we say, um, to distort the image. Um, and I'll point them out in, in this one. So hold on, let's see if that button is working. Can't see anything. No, it's not that one. Ah, there we go. Right, okay, so I've given it a bit of colour just, just so you can see it a, a, a little bit better, so let's go and have a look. And I can't remember what number, moon or planet we're on now, but um, it's just getting crazy and when I've spoken about the... Um, colonized solar system which you may have heard people um, speaking about and uh, it's very apparent it's very apparent um, in regards to if it is or not within relation to the photographs um, this is you know 
you being me being amateur um all we can get our hands on are these photographs and um it's just well what the images are giving us are well, that's all we can go on it's it it's very di it's very difficult to say apart from just the similarities that we've been finding um and the pre-editing techniques um which are so apparent um it's ridiculous so like i always say um pause and just take the image in if you use eyepieces then uh go for it this is probably a good, a good size um to be viewing it at but we will be having a closer look and i will point some stuff out um i have done this for uh one time just so I can but it's it's one of those it's all over the place again uh, so we'll just have a look okay so let's start up here now you'll see there's like a lot of vertical lines of sorts through the through the um the features now what makes me think that is it could be part of the the structural design because it doesn't run through the whole image it's only in the areas where there's more um structures than in the rest of the image so you can you know you can you can work this out for yourself whatever you think but we've looked at it a lot especially on Pluto where we looked at about it's probably four or five I think different photographs and um, came to some good conclusions so go and have a look at those and uh, see what you think So as always, pause and just take the image in. It might take you a while to to um, for it to settle in, for your eyes, brain to get used to it. Um, I'll try not to do any scribbling on it, but it's very difficult not to. Um, that's my phone ringing. That'd be my son. Um, We'll just have to wait a few minutes. Okay. Right, so... If I just go like that... It sort of gives you something to focus on. But this area here... As you can see... And it's something we've seen a lot. This is very familiar. It has these platform terrace type constructions with other constructions on top of them um, and uh, yeah here we have it on Tethys again I'll do some closer shots of this and it has what seems like some sort of uh, spire things coming out of it and you can see the perspective here so we have this top area comes down and out on a sort of a rectangle type sort of formation here Getting through here, everything's following through, joining up to each other. And yet again, dense, very, very dense uh, constructions 
this is what can make it very confusing. Um, so I'm probably going to miss a lot. But when you do this research yourself, when you're actually working through the image, it's so obvious and I highly recommend doing this if you're interested enough um, because you see the, um, the structures forming as you're doing it. So it's so apparent, it's, uh, it's amazing every time I do this, no matter where I'm working on, um, it just blows my mind this running up across here down they're everywhere layer upon layer and again there's something which we talk about with these every so often on these platforms you get um, a certain shape of platform, um, square, circular, diamond shape, teardrops, um, with another structure on top of it. In this area here. So you have to think of the, uh, the perspective, um, the inclination of the, the image in relation to the ground surface. So it gives us tops and sides. small features you can concentrate on. I actually find it quite difficult describing this stuff. Slowly, this you can see these lines that run through here. It's still over here. Again, very industrial looking. Clearly rectangle, small platform with something on. I suppose you could call them uh, coverings of sorts with structures on them. We can't see what's underneath. 
there's obviously stuff um, going on underneath this. But we uh, simply can't get in there to have a look. This is like the north northeast of um, uh, I think it's called the o Odyssea Odyssea um, crater, which is two hundred and fifty miles in diameter. So again, this stuff is uh, massive. See when we zoom out to a certain level you can start seeing the, the design layout of the construction. Look at this area here. detail I was able to um, pull out um, reduces towards um, if you look up here in the navigating window this area here not so good I haven't worked on it as much um, but it's much more bleached out and blurred Now if you're new to this, this is all going to look, I mean, it, you probably won't um, get much out of this. But it's just a case of taking your time and uh, studying the image, reading about the geology, how they describe the surface, and then relate it to this stuff. And this is all hidden, hidden things, hidden in the image. And you can extract it using uh, one tool with um, six different settings. It's here, simple. One makes it lighter, one makes it darker. zip across there you can see where it sort of starts but there are familiar things like this like on those platform areas I was talking about say well that could be anything but 
you have to look at the rest of the image. Small details you can get out of here. So if you pause and just give this area a chance, you'll start seeing the uh, the details, the constructed elements. This is just one pass with one of the tools. And this is rem reminiscent of everywhere we're looking at. All the videos I've done. Structured. See the layout. Details. Repetition and design. Carries on through. You can see when I do, when I do that, that in fact, it's everywhere. 
these were just some features I quickly circled. You can see the blurring, there's an element of distortion there as well. So tell me what you think. Um, I have got some crazy stuff coming up. Um, you think I'd be running out by now, but it's by no means. Um, I think we've only just started. We are having a problem with... Uh, you call it people getting to see this stuff um, so please like if that is going to make any difference or not I really don't know um, but we're going to keep going let me know how you uh, got on with viewing this as well um, I was a little bit apprehensive but I think this top area um, is clearly showing you that there is uh, intelligent Limay constructions I'm sure you've heard the, that sort of uh, description before but there's no you know and, and this format as well uh, there's, there's no other way to really do it um, and I'm not going to turn things into a theatrical city entertainment crud even though you might have noticed with the, the titles of some of the videos I'm putting out, but it's a bit of an experiment, and it's true. Um, but I will be showing you uh, the deal with that sort of thing. That's what I was looking to trying to find a minute ago. Keep your eye on it. Where is it? And he, oh yeah, and he's lost it again. So this will be a part one, and uh, we will be looking at. Um, some other photos which are better than this so um, yeah I have part you know parts of stuff because um, I think we should look at various photographs of the same place and it's all catalogued and it's all out there so um, yeah in fact we will be looking at we'll be looking at this one Maybe this one next, or I've got another colour one. So, um, tell me what you think, and did you see enough? Do you want to see some more? You will be seeing some more anyway. So, um, but as ever, thanks a lot, guys, and um, I'll see you soon. <laughs>